What's up, buddy? Welcome back to my YouTube channel, guys. Today I will discuss about Indian railway sectors, one of the hottest stock that is Titaga railway system. If you see company's last five years performance, company has given so far three thousand one hundred eighty eight percent return, so which is really massive. If you see company last one year performance, company has given near about two hundred sixty six percent return, and in last one month, company has given fifty percent of return. So guys, investors got huge multifold return in this particular stock. Those have stayed invested for last five years. If somebody could have done only hundred rupees SIP in this particular stock for last five years since 2019, then he could have generated huge wealth. His total six thousand investment could have been today one lakh thirty thousand rupees, which is really great return, guys. So now let's understand what is the reason behind this rally. So first key thing which I want to highlight over here in FI 23-24, Indian government has. Has done huge number of capex allocation in last budget FI 23-24 government has allocated highest ever capex that is 2.93 lakh crore. So within a very few days budget is coming. So in forthcoming budget definitely government will allow some good amount of capex in railway sector and this company will be benefited the most. In FI 23 Indian Railway has already laid the track of 5243 kilometers. If you see company's order book at present company is having huge number of order. Order value that is near about twenty seven thousand crore. So by FI twenty three, company has made already fifty Vande Bharat train, and government is making plan for another four hundred Vande Bharat trains and one thousand mini Vande Bharat trains in coming next to three to four years. So if we see estimated market opportunity for Vande Bharat, it would be forty eight thousand to fifty two thousand crore and sixty to sixty five thousand crore for mini Vande Bharat trains in next three to four years. So guys, let's deep dive to the company. Because before investing this company or any company, you must know company's background very well. It's mean what company does, what company's financial condition, what company's future projection. You need to know everything very well because after all, it is your hard-earned money. So if you see company's main profile in the passenger segments, company is making lot of metro trains, just like company is making semi high speed trains, high speed trains, urban metro rails. So basically, if we understand in a simple language, this company makes the goods trains and metro passenger trains. India's first aluminium body metro train made by Titaga Railway System only. So far, it already made 23 trains for Pune Metro and for Bangalore Metro, it's gonna make first 16 driverless train. So total 24th train will be. Delivered for Surat Metro, and all will be delivered within next two years. So you can understand how much order company is having right now. Company is having many manufacturing units in all over the India. Company is having one unit in Bharatpur, Rajasthan. One is in Hyderabad, and in West Bengal, company has many manufacturing units like Uttarpara, Titagar. So if we split the order book, fourteen thousand eight hundred thirty crore comes from freight railway system, and twelve thousand seven hundred sixteen crore comes from passenger railway systems. If we look company's profit and loss statement, before two thousand twenty three, company was making constantly loss, but in FI twenty three, first time company made one twenty six crore profit. And in FI24, company made 286 crore profit due to the Indian government's heavy capex allocation in the railway sector. If we look at the EPS, company's EPS was in FI23 10.89 rupees. By FI24, company's EPS has grown huge, that is 21 rupees. Almost it has doubled the EPS. So if we look at the company's shareholding pattern, at present promoter is having 42.46 percent, and FI and DIs are holding good number of shares. That is, if I is holding 17.27 percent and DIs are holding 13.72 percent, and rest of the holdings are coming from public, that is 26.53 percent. If we look at the company's balance sheet, company is absolutely debt-free company. Company is having only 166 crore borrowing, that is very nominal, or you can avoid it. Basically, company is debt-free, so it's a good sign of any company. So you need to know company's management very well because management is the main thing who drives the company. So Mr. J P Choudhury is the executive chairman for this company. Mr. Umesh Choudhury is the vice chairman and managing director, and Mr. Anil Kumar Agarwal is the director finance and CEO. So now let's come to the main. Part that is valuation. At present, company's P is 83, which is expensive. But if you look at the company's order book, at present, company's order book is 27,000 crore, which means company is having great amount of order value. And if you look at the company's market cap, that is 24,000 crore. Company's order book is more than company's market cap. So in future, I believe that this company has a bright future. In future, company will do good profit, and then EPS will be increased. So if you want to buy this share by the valuation perspective, 
then I don't think it is the right time. Whenever you'll find this stock in deep, definitely you should buy. Though I'm not giving any buy sell recommendation before buying this share or any share, please consult with your financial advisor. And if you feel that I have added any value in your life, then please do subscribe my channel and don't forget to comment. Thank you so much.